Over there! We can't let him get away! <laughs> Too late, fool! <laughs> you will not escape! Us? What in the name of... Gary! I'm sorry, okay? I hadn't prepped this part of the dungeon yet! I haven't had the time! But you don't suffer from this, do you? For more than two years, you've helped us to enhance our tools, grow our map libraries, and given us a warm welcome in the community of map makers and game masters. We are honored to be part of this community, and all we can say is thank you. Bring it on. <laughs> Hello and welcome everyone to another evening or morning or noon of Welcome to the Madness. My name is Till and I am the founder or one of the founders of Dungeon Fog. Um, and it's Thursday evening here in Austria and I have a game tomorrow so I need to prep some maps for that. And um, if you want, you're more than welcome to hang out with me. I'm going to draw some maps. I'm going to answer some questions about Dungeon Fog. Um, and um, maybe uh, we can together learn some new tricks. Um, yeah, and that's it. So if you have any questions, don't forget to add a little question in front of it. That makes it much easier for me to see those questions. Um, and with that said, let's get right started into it. Today we have released our new map pack. It's called Orcs um, and is an Orcish themed map pack and I want to start off with just looking at what we can do with those maps um, or sorry with those assets and um, draw a little Orc map here and later I will then pick up my the map that I need for tomorrow um, and I would do that. So if you are, um, <laughs> if you are uh, one of my players, I hope you're not, because then I have to send you away from this stream. But if you are not one of my players, then you're more than welcome to stay. Um, oh, and there's already a question. Um, So if you have if you have technical just generally speaking if you have technical questions um, just send them to our Discord or to our support um, at support at dungeonfog.com. There we can handle them. Um, I will not be able to handle any like install uninstall questions here on stream. So just go to our Discord. I'm pretty sure you uh, find the Discord link somewhere or someone can post it for you. Um, and um, yeah, and that's it. Um, so, <laughs> how am I doing? Hi, Damien. Um, how am I doing given the events of this week? Feeling better now? Relief? Stress? How many beers have you had this week? I haven't had any beers yet, but tomorrow I will have one um, when we're playing the game. Um, I feel, yeah, uh, relieved. Um, the, 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 the numbers that are rolling in for... Um, from, from the day's feedbacks are quite nice so far. Um, so it this is a relief. Um, it's still pretty stressful. We have a lot of new things planned for next week. Um, so we're trying to finish them. But the weekend is getting closer and it's, it's basically it's just making maps tonight and doing some office work tomorrow and uh, in the afternoon. I will then lean back open a beer and start playing a D&D game that might take until the night, which is amazing. <laughs> right, okay, so I want to I want to show you the map pack for Orcs and I have prepped a little thing here. Um, Vin, Vindorian Production says, uh, with the work you've put in, you deserve the beer. Uh, Thank you. Not only I deserve the beer, my whole team deserves one, and we're going to look at a good event um, somewhere next week or the week after, because some, some are taking Easter vacations, um, where we'll hopefully find a little Zoom call with beer and pizza, where we all sit together and just 
and just celebrate that the the, the latest Deo, uh, Deus Tech Alpha was good so far. Um, and yeah, and all the things that we are releasing next week um, are also worth of celebration. So keep an eye out for announcements uh, next week because there are quite a few interesting ones. Okay. Um, so, uh, in one of the previous Welcome to the Madness streams, um, I was asked if, how I would do terrain, like uh, elevation, terrain elevation. And I was experimenting with a new technique that I kind of fell in love with, and that is working with color options of the same texture. So what you can see here is basically is a terrain that I drew myself just using the tools that are in Dungeon Fog. And I'm still learning it, so I believe that there are still tricks to improve that. Um, but it's quite nice because it, when you look at that, this is basically this is basically just a combination of brush strokes, and I will just turn them off bit by bit. And um, reconstruct it, where I say, okay, let's select that. So um, the first thing I do is, if you want to have something that is below ground, um, a good way to look for inspiration is basically just to um, Google for those um, bevel and emboss effects that are used for buttons, because they are using the exactly same technique um, to, to create those, how are they called? They had a specific name. Um, it wasn't material design, it was... I can't remember. Um, but those buttons, they have the same bevel and embers effect that we can use to create completely new terrain elevation in, in Dungeon Fog. Um, so the first thing I do is I create, and it's barely visible. I'm not sure if you can see it. I think it's really hard to see if the... Let me see. Do you see that? Yeah, I think you might see it. Um, it's slightly lighter than the, the ground texture. Um, and um, it's slightly lighter than the ground texture. And it's just creating something like an outer rim around of the hole. The next thing, so let's activate that. The next thing I did was I created a, a smaller circle. That is just dark. In combination, you can briefly see that there is something like a light border around the dark circle. And again, all I did was I used the brush tool for that. So I took the brush tool, took all those things, and then just created them. Um, so now we have the now we have this circle. And then I've created, and here you can see that I've created a third circle that is now offset from the center. Because if the light is shining from the upper direction, then the darker area should be offset a little bit to create this um, depth effect. So this is, this is step number three to do this. Um, and then, last but not least, what I did was I created some highlights. I've created a bottom highlight, so that shows the area that receives the light, if the light is coming from this direction. And if this area is receiving light, then this area should be a little bit darker. And I was just playing around. As you can see, I wasn't darkening this particular part, but I was trying to create something like a drop shadow in this area. And I did this. And I feel like it's looking quite nice. So, coming back to a few questions that I've seen there, I don't want to dive into crashes and technical stuff too much, but are initial numbers looking good related to stability? Yes, they are. They're looking amazing. We, the only thing that I'm, I'm hoping for is that we receive more feedback. We have received about 60 feedbacks so far, um, but I'm Honestly, I'm hoping to get more feedback over the next couple of uh, days, um, and we will we will send out a little reminder to everyone to give us feedback. Um, but in terms of what our crash reporters are telling us, it's 
minimal. Like the, the, I will do in the next mapping it out, I will show you the full statistics and analytics to see how things changed. Um, we have a few reports on um, high GPU usage with ARM um, GPUs, uh, uh, CPUs, um, but generally speaking, the way that stability and performance is coming back to us in terms of your reports and the analytics that we receive, we are very happy. I feel like if nothing terrible is happening that we haven't foreseen, the initial wave now gave us a first impression of where we're heading. And if that is constantly uh, kind of validated through your feedback, then I feel what, like we are at the point where we can say, okay, tech alpha is over. Um, then I have another question. Are there any plans at all for dedicated tool or brush for elevation and cliffs? Um, yes, Jarek, there are. And I think we have been we have been discussing that internally, you know, with those elevation lines that reflect like terrain height. Um, we have been discussing different tools, but now that we're starting or that I am starting to play around with that, I kind of feel that there is a way to automate things like that. Um, and it's we have a we have a long roadmap. Um, on, on our uh, for this year so I'm not sure if we're going to tackle it this year um, but I feel like in terms of getting the right concept and the right solutions for that we're getting there um, good evening Jonas hi <laughs> yeah that's true with when you when you when it comes to feedback when things are going well you receive less feedback that's true um, and it, it, we factor that in, um, but still it's like having Deus, the first tech alpha, it was quite painful for us to see how badly we, we underestimated um, the technologies that we've used. So we kind of a little bit um, on, on the toes and feel like, oh, please give us feedback, give us feedback, we need confirmation, um, but it's looking good. Um, Guten Abend, der Dorifer. Um, thank you very much, Damien. Um, right, wow, many questions. I'm, I, I'm, I'm afraid I will not be able to do a lot of map making. Um, okay, let's continue. So this is how I've made the, the terrain. Um, <laughs> right, thank you for the reminder. Um, watch and learn see what I'm doing here because there is a contest going on um, which is called Masters of the Tools. It's a dungeon fork contest for the battle map editor at the moment. Um, it's still running for a week um, and almost a week on, on, on March 31st which I believe is next Wednesday um, is uh, then the contest is going to close and the cool thing about the contest I think this is very important um, and I think I think we've made quite a nice reward there the winner of the contest is going to work with us on the next or on an upcoming because we know already what the next um, map pack is on an upcoming map pack for dungeon fork and working with us means you tell me what you need as a next map pack um, I will at least, there's one part where I say, oh, you want Bodie McBoatface map pack assets? Uh, can you come up with something more helpful? Um, but that's like, that's the limit. Like if you're, if you're going to, if you're going to, to, to demand something absolutely ridiculous, where we feel like, okay, you're kind of trolling us now, um, then, then I will have a conversation with you. Um, but in any other regards, you're going to tell us the theme, you're going to help us to decide on the 30 assets that go in there, and then you will work with Tony, who's the lead artist, and me on the final revision of the props, and the then this prop pack is released as a prop pack, as a monthly prop pack from Dungeon Fog, but specifically brought to you, or to you, the community, brought to the community by you as the winner. And I feel like this is um, quite amazing and I, I know how much um, prop 
uh, feature requests we get. So I think everyone knows exactly what prop pack he would like to see in Dungeon Fog. Um, so go for it. Um, there isn't much of a requirement there. The, the, the thing is, um, it's called Masters of the Tools, so we're not looking for a specific map theme um, or a map size. What we're looking for is we want to know how you use the tools in Dungeon Fog and we're looking for the master of the tools. So who can use the tools most creatively um, to, to a great level of expertise. And um, I'm not going to judge that alone. Janet from World Anvil will judge um, the map based on how she can, how she as a storyteller would be able to work with that map. Guy from uh, How To Be A Great GM will judge the map based on could he as a game master use that map and what what is what is the thing that impresses him. Then Tony himself, the artist, will judge the composition and the colors and the lighting and will tell us um, how the how he feels like this map, those maps are looking. And I will I will look at the specifically at the mechanical, the tools part. And together we will decide and we will probably fight um, about picking one winner. The again, end of March, it's ending, then we have two weeks where we need to to to, to review everything, and um, around midst of April to end of April we will then announce the winner. And then we will immediately start working with you on the prop pack. Um, Jonas has a question. Well, um, my adventure will come to an underwater building. A mountain has fallen into the ocean and the temple is on it. Are there ways to get the feeling of being underwater? Yes, there are. Um, it's quite a simple trick. Um, so. Right here, the map you're looking at right now is Overland and I created it in, in a muddy feeling because orcs and they trample everything. But this could be, very easily, this could be an underwater map as well. The only thing I need to do is um, I create... Do, 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 do. Let's pick a shape texture and let's use water for that. Let's use the shimmering blue water. Oh, there are still color adjustments to it. Let's zoom out a little bit. 50%. Okay, uh, let's start. Oh, I should have, sorry, snapped a grip. will make my life much easier. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm putting a shape on top of it, um, but it is not on top. Is it on top? It is on top, but I feel like it is not above walls. There you go, because accidentally I've put some of the props above walls. Um, so now that's not an underwater map, that's more like the water surface, but all you need to do is you just turn down the, um, the, the slider to a degree where you feel like, okay, you still have, let's ramp this up a little bit, um, where you still have this watery effect um, that is kind of creating that. And the next thing is you work with lighting. Um, so if I would go in there, let me lock that. It's still very visible. I feel like it would be, it would be interfering with my... Let's bring it like that, lock it. And now let's go for some light sources. Um, I think I have quite a nice one in one of my collections. There should be somewhere, I can't find it right now. Where is it? Oh, I think it was in Cyberpunk. Yeah. So now I've added a light source here. Let's darken everything a little bit so that we can see it better. So now we have a light source here. And as you can see, just with working with the light sources, you already get this dampened feeling. So all I need to do now is I need to change the light source to something that is more like an underwater lighting. Duplicate, place something here as well. 
And now we just need to play around a little bit with it. Let me put another one here. Let me see. At some point it will get too much. Yeah, I think it's... <clears throat> there you go. So, again, from now on you start playing around with the details. But it's it's the trick is working with, with, with a little watery surface and then adding lights. Um, and you will have something that resembles an underwater map. Okie doke. Let's get rid of those things and I will be very unhappy soon. Turn up the light. There you go. And let's make those. This is going to be painful. Above walls, above walls, above walls. Okay, so this one's fixed. Let's just go through all of them. Walls, walls. And I assume... Okay. Oh, and I still have the shimmering blue water here. Oop, oop, come here, let me select you. Let's get rid of that. Okay. So, back to my orcs. Um, you can find the new orc pack under flavor. So this is this is uh, in in the dungeon fork setting. You can have you you have all the dungeon fork uh, settings that we have released, and there's kind of a collection pool where we put all the monthly prop packs in there, and that is flavor. And there, if you scroll down, you will see orcs. Um, and using, so let's just let's just look at what we have there. So for example, I like I very much like that little glyph here. Um, I will put that down into the pit, and now we will remove the drop shadow and we will make it much less. Yes, something like that. We have also added. Um, a lot of tusks and spikes, so we could go oh. I don't know why I'm trying to duplicate them. Um, I think I can go until there, then I should switch to that one. And... Wait, is that a different one? No, it is fine. But I feel like... Ah, it's still working. I was wondering when... I think this one probably needs to be mirrored. Yeah, mirroring them into that direction works much better. In Dorian, that's 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 a great answer. Um, that works as well, but. You can do the bubbles the same way I did the I did the shapes here. So you just use several different ways of white, and you can create those bubbles. Um, so you don't have to search for images. Um, all you need to do is, if you want to create white bubbles, um, you go in, pick a color, say okay, jip, jip, white, and then go for okay. First dot. Um, the outest dot should have should be completely like that and it should sorry let me just fix that because then they will not be above walls okay so we have that one we turn down the opacity quite a lot this is not this is not a bubble per se but we can pick now let's make something like this already getting a little bit more bubbly um, 
But now let's play around with a little bit like this and add it and just remove something like that. I think that dot is too big. Let's put it here. Ah, well, it was okay. So there you have, there you have your bubble. A very, a very quick one. Um, the good thing is all I need to do now is I put them in a group. Group, group, group. Bubble. Oh, sorry. And now I can scale it down, duplicate, scale it up a little bit, duplicate, scale it up a little bit. And suddenly we have those bubbles coming up. Be careful if you scale it very much down, we're compressing it a little bit, so the effects that you've seen can result from that. Um, back to orcs. What else do we have? Let's put a shield. Let's put a little shield in here. And a great orc weapon would be an axe. There you go. Okay, and I feel like there should be massive orc banners. This one, oh nice, this one is actually going down into the pit. There you go. Um, oh, we have bubble props in the sewers as well. Right, thank you. You're amazing. Okay, and I think the war chief needs to overlook this, so he will get a little platform up here. Where he can look into the pit. And um, what else can we do? Is there anything else we can do in, we can put in the pit? <laughs> I don't think so. Well, we can do more spikes, but we should decorate the, the we should decorate the, the corners a little bit more. It still looks very washy. Oh, well, the war chief is definitely going to sit on his throne while he's looking into the pit. Hey, that warrior body. Yeah, definitely. So this is not part of the... Um, not part of the orc pack, but we already have... Oh, spike bones. I think... They fit... They fit the war chief throne quite nicely. Let's put them here. But I was actually looking at, I think it's skeleton. <laughs> yeah, there's a skeleton hanging between the tusks. Okay, not sure about that one. Um, I think, if I remember correctly, in the jungle. No, it was something else. In the jungle we have dead body. Where's my jungle pack now? Where are you? There you go, and he's green. So we have a dead orc here. But that's a very big dead orc. Okay, so let's make him a little bit smaller. Which means that the shield should be a little bit smaller too. And that's a pretty nice eggs here. Okay. Hulk, dead. No smash. Okay, let's continue doing at least this. And I will, oh, sorry. Let's sort that down to the rest of my tasks because now I can create task top. And I will put them all in.
the folder. Because now I can... Wait, can I put something in there? Oh, the glyph is in there. That should have been in there. But you should have been. Okie doke. Duplicate. And... I will place it, but then I will flip it vertically. And I can place it here. That's okay, my, my throne needs to be above all of that. So the throne needs to be on... No, I don't want you to... In the... Okay, let's do this differently. Let's put the tusks down, and this is task bottom. Bone pile by the death pit. Yes. Oh, wrong one. I wanted to hit that button. Pile of... And I think in fantasy we have this amazing... Pile of bones. I thought we had that. Dungeon. Oh, it might be in there. Right. So where are, they, where are they tossing them? They're tossing them over here. This is where they're storing them. Okay. Still trying to think of a way. Still no use keyboard, keyboard shortcuts. No, well, I do sometimes, but I... The thing I like best actually is the the the, the right click, the circular right click, um, and it's it's kind of I don't know why, probably because all of those things like the new advanced things, they came at a time where I already was so familiar with the way where the buttons are that I hardly use them anymore. Let's see if we I think. The reason why the whole thing is not looking is not looking great at the moment is because which one is it? This one, I think. This one. That is not dark enough. Yeah. Now it looks much better. We're going to play with lighting later, um, but. make all those things now a little bit dark so they actually feel like it's all in the pit okay the uh, layer up down um, shortcuts are amazing but I constantly keep forgetting them <laughs> <laughs> I mean, literally, I was like, oh yeah, right, that's control and uh, uh, full stop, or control and comma. Um, that's true. It's much harder to see what I'm doing if I would be like tip, 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 typing. Um, but don't worry, it's I'm also not really familiar with, uh, like, not really used to using all the shortcuts. Okay, blood. I feel like there needs to be more dirt and blood in there. So, my favorite trick, I will always use them. First of all, let's add... Okay. When I think about that, I feel like it was really stupid to make that pit with brushes because I could have done that with the room as well, but I wanted to test it, how it works with brushes. So now we have that, now we're not going to change it. But the room would have limited those little splashes out there. So we're going full brush today, 
Okay, that's fine. Let's do it then. Let's go full brush. Which means that I will pick a brush. I will pick a color. This one, I will make my brush feathers. I think the last one was too much. spots there. So we have that's that's like that's more like let's make this even less duplicate rotate put it here beneath the throne. We don't really want to know why there are liquid stains down here but I actually wanted to add blood. some blood smears here. Let's just make sure that they work. So no drop shadow and less. Ooh. And there's a smear coming from this poor fellow. Let's look what else do we have here. Um, nope, this is the House of Horror. We want to go back to the Oryx. I really like the... Uh, we're going to put that... Um, there are a lot of broken effigies, like, like this one here. Let's place that here. And then we have another one. This is going to be at the opposite side. So here they can do little orc prayers. And then there's a broken column. Those, I think we're going to need those in a minute because I want to build up here. Something like this altar. Do we want it? No, let's keep it like that. Acer Fleisch. Okay, if I rotate you, we can see the little tusks standing out there. And now my absolute favorite prop. I think Tony did this amazing. Where are you? The orc statue that is overlooking the camp. Look at that. I love it. Made of tusks, wood, stone, and banner. Um, okay, let's rotate a little bit. Summoning circle and glyph. I can't use them here right now. Um, this is map decoration. Okay, so they have graves for the fallen warriors, so we're going to put a few graves here. So here's one. Here's another one. And that's more like a buried sarcophagus, so let's put that one here. You are absolutely correct, Dante. This skeleton should be hanging here. Oh. Should be hanging here. Where could we put it? Can it? 
fit there. Yeah, I think it can. <laughs> Let's make it, because it's uphill, can make it a little bit bigger. Nice. I don't need my layers and I don't need my lighting at the moment. Hmm. I think for, for some of the decoration we would need a little like something like a hut or, or a wooden a wooden Yeah, I think a hut describes it quite nice. So let's let's do that. Let's put... Okay, let's first of all revert all of that stuff. I had that from the other stream today. We have added a few new wood textures that fit the orc theme, so we're going to use them now. Sorry, I just close everything. Water, there you go. Because under wood, worked wood, if you scroll to the bottom, you see that we have now orc floors. Um, and I will use this one for my walls, but 300 is way too much, so let's go back to 100. And I will use the other, I will still use the same thing, just slightly bigger for the floor. And I believe it's going to be... I think my map should be bigger, to be honest. move that out of the way, something like that. Okay, because I want to do something like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, no. Let's move it here. Four, four, one, two, three, four, four. Uh, 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 uh. Three, four. No, wait. I'm confusing myself here. Where's the. There it is. Uh, the wall thickness should be a little bit higher. Let's put it to 8 and 8, so we have a total of 16 pixels for the wall. And I think the floor texture should be a little bit darker. Ah, yes. So this is the this is the war chief's hut, so he has another throne in there. Let's make this above wall so it just uh, it looks even bigger. Wood cages. Ah, let me think. Um, no, I don't think so. We have a cage with skeleton in there, and we have a little fenced chicken farm. But we don't have any wood cages where we can put people or or wargs or creatures in. I'm afraid not. And then, although I feel tempted to draw one now with the with the shapes tool, let's um, let's wait with that a little bit. Ah, now I've said it. Now I want to do it. No, let's do it. Um, okay, let's use the shapes tool to create a cage. Um, I want to do it by. I don't need that one. Let's go to this and let's make this five by five. Oh, enter. Sorry. Uh, snap to grid to the corner. Is 5x5 five five correct? No, it's not, because it's 1, 1, 2, okay. Is that helping? 
One, two, three. Yes, now it's helping. Haha. Uh -huh. They have a little pool there where they need to wash themselves. Um, no, I want wood. And now I want to still edit the shape, but I want to one square. Oh, no, not add, subtract. Chip. Chip. It has an outline. I think it could drop an inner shadow. Yes. Uh, no, sorry, an outer shadow. My bad. That's what it should do. And I think if we scale this down, the holes will get too small. So we're going to make our, and now we need to snap to the center, which is fine. Okay, so let's see, now I have a cage, let's see what happens if I, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so now we can have little cages and we can put creatures in there. Wolf, let me see. Yes, we have a wolf. So there's a wolf in there. Oh no, you escaped. Back in the cage with you. Okay. And let's call this one cage because then I can find it again. Yeah, I, I, I didn't think about that either, Dante. I, I just, as you said, I was like, ah, would there be a way to do this? And then I realized, yes, there is now. Um, so there we have a cage here. And if I group that, putting the wolf in there in there I can have just a few of them okay so this is going to be my entrance we now have a new door in our fantasy doors it's the orc door the, the orc door and I will put it come on come on right here but it looks in the wrong direction so let's... Ah, I can never remember. It's horizontal mirror. Okay. Keep in mind that we're at 50% scale level. That's why the door looks really small. If we go back to 100%, it looks a lot more interesting. And let's stick at the... Let's stay at the 100% for now, because now we need to decorate the inner flavor. Go away, animals. Go away, bones. There you go. I think there should be there should be those little there should be platforms in there. Oh, we can even use them to make I don't know if I would like to be in that place, but we could make spiky columns out of them. Like this. Um, so Dante just said, uh, considering how close the wolf cages are to the bone piles, I'm sure we can guess what happened to the losers of the fight. Uh, yeah. You can, you can, so this is, yeah, there's, there's kind of a construction um, cycle here. So if you lose, you first go into the cage and then you end up here, or if you're pretty well then you can be used to decorate those things here. Good. Oh, oh, the obelisk. I wanted to I wanted to place. Let's put there a big obelisk. Okay, I will put the obelisk here. My map is still too small. I'm sorry. 
I don't have enough space here. Let's add another 10 to this side. I don't need 10 at the bottom of the line. Because now I can take the whole thing and move it over here. You can now be here. And where's my obelisk there? So now we can make them kind of blanking the entrance. Some splatter today. It looks like I wanted to build a, an orc camp and it instantly became a, a slaughterhouse. Um, Those are those platforms. No, wait, it's much easier to put the carpet at the bottom. Okay. Let's make this one above wall so it sits there a little bit on the wall. Same here. And I really like those. Let's put some of them here. And yep. Corner decorations. What about you? So we, we we've made. I don't know when this started. I believe it started with the dragon, the dragon pack. I think in the dragon pack was the first time that we added something that doesn't have a specific purpose in terms of, oh, this is an item you can place, but more like a decorative element that you can use to, if you, if you just put it like that, you can put it anywhere and it starts to become something, so I could put it above the... There's another one. Let's see if the other one works better. I think so. Oh, it works for the outer one. For the outer. Okay. So this is just purely for wall decoration. And I really like that. So we have continued to do, um, for, for all the packs that we're doing um, now, which are the, 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 the Warven pack has been released, um, I think last month. And now we've released the Orc pack. And I can tell you there are going to be more races this year. So I know that there's going to be an Elven pack. Um, and then we will go, so there's going to be not just fantasy races, but also like cultural packs. So I know that there's going to be um, a Celtic pack. Um, mm, I like it. So those are intended to be for just the inner decoration. And I think let's lose let's use that one that was already skated properly. Portal pack. Well we have the sewer pack already. Uh, all we need is add a few pizzas in there. Um Andy, the core developer behind um this uh the the, the online desktop editor, um he's playing a total in my games. He's by today, so over the past couple of years that we've been playing it, he was an undead turtle for some time, where he became undead. Um, then he was able to remove that curse, and now uh, he's cursed with being crystalline. So now he's a crystal turtle. 
Okay. Can I do something with tusks in here? Not sure. But we can definitely use some of the rooms here. Okay, now what I wanted to do is I wanted to use some of the other textures. Let's just pick that one because then we have all the settings. And just add a few spots. Okay. Oh no, why are you doing this to me? Wait. Floor. Rotation zero scaling 200. What about you? <laughs> There's a little offset there. I don't like it, and I don't know. I don't know why it shouldn't be. Um. Well, in that case, we're going to cheat. And put you here so the offset is not going to be that visible and now I can edit whoa stop that I will have to look at the textures um, they might have an offset in the texture and that is not what I want it to be let's see this one uh, same thing Oh, stop, I don't want to do this. Delete. Oh no. Let's remove that brush element. Nope. I need to. That's why I've saved, because I think by deleting that one brush element, I kind of scared the editor so I just made sure that yeah there it is let's bring it back in here um so I just made sure to save first and then reload because otherwise I will see more of those of this behavior like there we have it again he really doesn't like that one Map decoration runes. No, I want the orc floor. Let's get rid of the whole brush. Let's redo this. Okay. Not sure why he. was upset with me. Is this a scaling issue? Because I really can't explain why this is. Okay, I don't know. I have to check. Um, right, so... Um, that is a quite impressive... Chieftain um, hut. And I will use those chairs. Let's make them a little bit smaller. And they're not map decoration. Why are you map decoration? Um, so the two shamans, the 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 the, the warcasters, they are sitting there. Okay. Yes. Well, they they don't really. Oh. They don't really care for for their floors that much, so they just trample on it. Let's add some lighting. I think in the center there should be... Um, a 
something like a brazier. Let's put flames in there. <laughs> hey, true Dante. <laughs> with those with large feet, it's hard to be careful to the floor. Flame, fire, I think. There should be more fire. Bonfire. There you go. Let's make this a light source. Ooh, I like it. But this is this is definitely this needs to be more like an orange reddish. Yes, 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 yes. Seven squares range. Let's reduce that a little bit. Let's make this five. Ah, uh, six probably because I want those beauties to last shadows okay so we don't have any lights for the stage at the moment so I will leave that on but I will make this darker ah <laughs> Ooh, this works really amazing with the with the colors from 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 the orc set. Oh Jesus, this is I like it. What can we do? I I feel like the more I will do to this right now, the more I will break it. Adding some shackles. Hmm, good one. I think we're talking about those here. And the war chief likes to watch. That sounded weird. Um And for those, we can put them above walls because they will be always on top of everything. Oh, no, 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 you're not map decoration. And I feel they could be a little bit darker, just a little bit. So I will try something, I'm not sure if it works or if I'm happy, if I'm satisfied with it. Um, but because I want I want this, you know, I, I'm sure many of you know 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 the the, 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 the war casters from, from Warhammer, especially the, the Warhammer Fantasy universe. And for some reason I feel like those those shamans, they always have this purplish and this greenish glow to them. So I would like to create those two casting, um, I just want to shine a little light on those chairs um, to reflect that magic uses are there. And we will see how that works. So let's put a light source here and let's adjust the light source. Uh, I will, let's make it a little bit smaller. I will hide it anyways, um, so it's going to be invisible at the end. Um, but for now, I leave it so it's easier to easier to grab. So this one needs to be a sick green, yes, something like that. But it needs to only have like probably three, yes. Let's put it on the chair. 
and it's too intense. It should be very slight. Let's go down to 42, yes. Let's do the same thing here, but now let's make it purple. Wondering what if I increase this? settings which is okay we'll just no I didn't want to do that okay and you are sick Flames concerts by the Warcasters with purple or green. Um, yes, we could do that. Um, I I feel like the whole room is already very packed with with props, so I'm trying to not to overdo it here. Um, but it's I like it. I think I think this looks quite amazing. Um, next thing I would do. Um, before we will then go to the other map because I need to prep a map for tomorrow and it's already getting 10 p.m. here um, So the last thing I would do is I want to have rocks Rocks Where are you? I think I could probably even use let me test something just quickly. Terrain. Elevate. No, I don't want the elevation. I want the cliffs. I think I have a straight cliff somewhere. There you go. Straight cliff. Yep, exactly what I was looking for. Because now I can... Make this. By the way, question. Um, I had to do. I had to do the. Now I have a question to you. Interesting. Um, I had to redo my setup. Can you hear music? Yes. Amazing. Thank you. Okay. Um, content. Straight cliff. Let's group that up. This is rocks cut. And let's put this ah, at the bottom. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, I had a Windows update and the Windows update broke my, my virtual cables. Um and suddenly, you remember you were part of that when when I when I went streaming and all you was hearing was that me talking like that, and I was like, oh no, I can't fix that on stream. So the day after, I had to basically deinstall, reinstall all the stuff and make sure that it was it was working again. Oh man, I could do so much more to this map. I will definitely revisit it. But I need to do a map for tomorrow. Okie doke. There you go. So this is the new prop pack um, orcs. 
it is available um, on it is available on Dungeon Fog in the flavor settings um, and as you see I have a lot of fun playing around with it it works quite amazing with lighting um, so if we if we go down and say okay this ooh, look ooh, it was it's glowing there So there is there is a fire burning here. Oh right, light source. Hmm. Whoa, too much. Ah, uh, that's not working from that. From that perspective, hmm. yeah, that one is casting a nice shadow. Okay, um, so as you can see, I can, I can, I can get lost in details here. Um, I really like the, I really like the orc pack. I'm, I think Tony did an amazing job there, um, and. Um, it's live already, so go check it out, have fun playing around with it. Um, I will now go back to the other map that I need to do for tomorrow, which is part of the Chult uh, Tombs of Annihilation, and I just realized that the book is out of my reach, so I will be back in a second. <clears throat> And for that, da -da -da boom of annihilation. Boom, boom. Fane of the Night Serpent. There you go. Continue. So that is quite a big map. And Luckily, I will not need it for. Oh, sorry. I will not need it for tomorrow per se. I don't think that they will reach the Fane of the Night Serpent tomorrow. Um, but they will be soon, and I should be ready then. Although, as described in the book, it is most likely more a social encounter. Um, and less giant combat encounter, I still, I'm not certain how true that is. And I feel like... Have we... Oh no, what? I feel like this is not the... This is not the map I was working on. Okay, while it's loading, I will bring up my description. I need to read up on the map as well. Where are you? There you are. Okie doke. So, um... I will work myself from room to room. It is, again, um, it is not. Uh, it's not going to be a full combat map. Um, it's going to be more likely some rooms that I will make the details, um, and some rooms that will remain more for me or for uh, narrative purposes. was the map and I just didn't save which also happens to me sometimes F 
Pain of the Night Serpent. There you go, because I remember that we have been playing around with... Playing around with those niches here. Oh no, wait. Content. Levels. I need to go to the map level. There you go. This looks more like what I was looking for. And... Where was that? I, I feel like we did. I remember. This is what we did. Th this is what we have done. We've created this one and then we've ended there. And I was still... I was crashing. I remember I was crashing it when I tried to, to do the experimental mode on on converting a shape into a room. Um, and that's where we ended, I believe. Okay, 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 okay. So actually, before I can do the map, um, let's uh, skate to fit. This is this is a gigantic map. Um, let's first finish the layout. Okay, I will start here. Let's do those rooms first. Let's go to fifty percent. I need a little bit more because my eyes are getting tired. Okay. Room. Let's pick up the settings from this one. And now let's start. And we're going to make this the KV cave room that it is here. So I will only snap to grid when necessary. And necessary it is only if I want to create doors because then I want to make sure that the walls are aligned perfectly, so those are snaps, but everything else I will hold down the shift key and I will do freehand. Oh, right, and I also wanted to do something else, because I don't know how you feel, but I'm pretty fed up with this orc tune now. Okay, so let me quickly change the music. What can we... Pain of the Night Serpent, it's a temple, it's... What about this one? I don't know if that was... Oh, no, that's that's not great. Um, that doesn't fit. The Dark King, that sounds good. Let's go for that. Well, what did I do? Okay, I believe we did that room already, but we might have removed it. I think I hid it. Let me just double check if, if that room probably is hidden. Are there any hidden rooms? Are there any hidden rooms? Yeah, there is one. Yes. So although although the original I'm still not happy with that room. Although the original layout says that it needs to have all those little niches and let me just quickly look at number 18 it is why are there so many Oh this is where they are breeding. Stem. I will change that map layout a little bit. And I will go for. Let's do one small one, two small one, three, and there you go. Door. And we have one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one. Oh. 
circle. Just so they all have the same settings, let's put this to radius 40. Uh, 35? Ooh, interesting. Okay. 35 is, I think, exactly what we need. 35. done. Let's do this one. 35. And the last one. Alright, so we have, we have this one, we have this one. Are there any straight rooms missing? No, I don't think so. So we can do the caves now. Okay, so let's just go for the cave then. Again, I will try to find... I think I have to do this freehand and attach it to the room like this. And now let's do a little cave here. I will create subsections for those caves, not only um, because that makes it easier for me to create them, but also because this is a really big map, which means that um, I have a huge amount of room points saved in one map document. And WebGL is really cool, but at some point it will just say, hey, wait, this is too much for me to render. Oh, close. I had that. Now you're close, okay. Um, but we can, we can tell the system to only render specific rooms, so the rendering broken down by rooms makes it easier for WebGL to deal with it. Um, and so having smaller rooms that are connected is better for rendering than having one giant room with a thousand of room points, because then he has to render all of them at once. Um, so... Snap, I think now. Ah, there it was. Okay, we can shift later. So, one of the things I'm really excited for next week is we are going to most likely if we're not finding any last critical bugs we're going to release the um, uh, room templates and this is this is a hell of a feature I can't wait to have it have it released because um, for those of you who don't know what room templates are um, it allows you to select a room save it as a template and it will be available across all levels and all maps so it will be it's saved to your account rather than to a specific map and it's saved with all the light sources in there all the brushes in there all the, all the decoration in there it's saved with everything that is associated to that room so you can easily go and um, 
recreate or reuse those rooms on different maps. And I've already created such a, such a huge list of things that I want to do with that. Like for example, um, prepping some circular rooms. Because circular rooms right now in Dynaflock, we know we're going to address them later this year. But circular rooms are a bit of um, are a bit of work to create. But once I have one circular room, I will save it as a template and it will be much easier. The same goes for um, the same goes for rooms with specific broken wall elements because this is also sometimes um, more work than I would hope for, and and so on and so forth. Someone mentioned that 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 um, you could create kind of outdoor tiles that you can reuse. Um, I just did a map for Orkenspalter TV today where I realized that. I can just take some of the rooms that I, so for example, like here, I could say, okay, I don't want to map out every detail, but I want this room and I want to blow it up on a separate map and work on the details. With a room template, I can easily do that. I just save that as a room template, create a new map and bring this room from the room templates back in here and I don't have to trace it. Um, so this is hopefully going to be released next week. Let's see, hide. So this is always a tricky part if the wall segments do not touch properly. Oh, look at that. You go, okay, 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 okay. Hmm. Let's go to 50%. Let's see, what's your problem? You are... Well, the problem is that you are not snapping to the grid properly. But you are, which means there is a room point interfering. Yes, there is. Let's get rid of that one. Still not working. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Aha! Uh -huh. That's not what I wanted to do. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. I don't know what's going on. Let me move you away. Oh, okay. Now I know what's going on. You need to snap here. Do I miss something? You are below ground with an inner wall thickness of 8. You are below ground with an inner wall thickness of 8. And you should be... Hidden. But you don't want to hide. Which means there might be... Room points. There you go. They're too close to each other. Okay. So this one is still a little bit over the top and let's put you here yeah there you go and now I should be able to attach you yes if room points are very close to each other calculation gets especially the the drop shadow calculation gets really difficult um, so if you have that, you sometimes just need to go in there and move them apart a little bit. Just get more distance between your room points. Um, and now we have that, which is nice. And now we can already go in there and hide that one. Uh, 
I think this is a, I think this is a good spot to create a new segment. Okay, and there we're going to have the same problem. Those room points are very close to each other. And this one is close too, so let's get rid of that one as well. Hide. There you go, beautiful. And safe. pretty happy with the amount of submissions that I've seen for the Master of the Tools contest so far because it's always like when you're calling for a contest it's always hard to, to see how many submissions are you really going to get. Last year we kind of over enthusiastically called for a contest every contest uh, one contest every week and whereas for the first contest we had quite a lot of submissions for the rest of the contents and then uh, contests and the rest of the year we were happy if we had five submissions so i think the the average was somewhere between three and five submissions um now if you think that you're putting a lot of work in those contests um it is quite disappointing to see that then only although the maps are beautiful and you're doing a great job but just from the expectation point of view as someone who's running the contest it was like <laughs> Um, um, yes, I know Forecaster, and it was, um, and it was, it was, um, I think it was Mapvember, wasn't it? And we said, like, oh yeah, every week, we, for Mapvember, we do every week a contest. Um, so... This year we sat together and we said, okay, we want to do something special. Sorry, I just have to tick off the medicine check for my dog. Um, and um, last time I checked, and I must admit I've checked, the last time I've checked was uh, Tuesday. Um, we already had 12 submissions, which is quite nice. Um, so I expect that there will be, we might even get to 20 submissions, which would be amazing, really amazing. <laughs> I will not confirm and I will not deny. Um, okay, have I put you, no, you need to, let's, Let's derive a little bit from the layout, just for the sake of not having to shift those points all the time. We can now go up here, 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 here. Snap, snap. Okay, this is going to be interesting with the water. Very interesting, I like it. Um, we are going to... Do it until here.
I think the water we will do with shapes. So I'm looking forward to this. Okay, let's snap here. Let's snap here. Now the Fane of the Night Serpent is one of the bigger maps of Umu. But Jesus, I've been looking at the at the Tomb of Annihilation map. That's a big one. Phew! I honestly that is so big that I don't know if I'm going to create it in Dungeon Fork. Like I remember when we've played Curse of Strahd, I built Castle Ravenloft with all 11, I think it was Into the Spires, it was 11 levels and it was a 92 times 72 grids map and I did all of them and it was, and then my players never visited every area. So I think, I think, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the, with the tomb itself. I really don't know. I'm pretty sure I will not build the whole map because there are maps out there, official maps. Um, we are playing with, uh, how's it called, D&D Beyond. Um, so I have it there. I have the maps there. I know that there are already more and more maps going out to Foundry. So maybe there are official map packs that I can use in Foundry. Um, I think, I think if, if if I remember correctly, it's like, it's something around six to eight levels. No, wait, yeah, level six. Ah, that's it, six levels, and a hell lot of rooms per level. I mean, the nice thing now that I look at it is. Each level isn't that complicated to draw. Maybe we will see. I, I, I might I may be starting with it. Um, and then just see where we where we go to. Okay, there is you're just leading nowhere, okay? So you are leading just out of the map. Which means I can also end here as well. It didn't. It didn't. You see, here we have this shadow thing as well. I believe it's this one. Yet. Nope, it's not. Yep, okay. Okay. Wow. How much more to go? And if I, I think I do, um, although it is very old, very, very old, and I'm not sure if it still loads up, I have to check. Um, but I know that someone else, I've seen it on the public map, someone else did the same thing. Um, and I was like, you have also, you have also decided to do Castle Ravenloft. Interesting. I can feel your pain. Um, so just just browse the public library. You might find you might find maps there. Um, oh no! Right, I wanted to zoom in. Uh, let's go to eighty percent back. I 
I don't think that I have deleted I like the test maps. I have deleted quite quite a lot of test maps, like the, the typical like ASDF maps that you create just to see if a feature is working or not. But from all the maps I did, I haven't deleted any of them. I think we should run a contest of show me how many maps you have on Dungeon Fork. I might be winning this. I'm not sure. Um but we're now at a point where I, I just we just spoke last week, I spoke to Thomas and he said, okay, the next thing I want to do, because the marketplace is slowly getting to be finished, um, internal testing for the marketplace was also quite promising. Um, and uh, so probably in April, there's going to be the, the, the official launch of the marketplace. Um, and Thomas said, okay, the marketplace is almost done. What can I do next? And he, he showed me his list and he said, you know, we still we still haven't tackled the search bar for the My Maps section. And I was like, oh, that would be amazing. Um, so there might be in the near future, um, there might be finally a search bar with filters where you can search your whole My Maps section. Oh, by the way, if you hear someone snoring, that's my dog Finn, who decided to go now into full trumpet mode. Can you hear him? Yes, the search bar will be a blessing. I know. Trust me. I I don't know. I, I don't know because I think together with the search bar we might introduce something like a map counter just so that you know how many maps you have. Because I don't know. I really don't. I, I, I Whenever I need to know that I have to go to Thomas and say, hey, can you look in through the database and tell me how much, how many maps do I have at the moment? Um, Is the music too loud, Forecaster? You said the music is pretty overpowering. If you if if you feel like the music is too loud, just tell me. I can make it less loud. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. Look at that. Here we are going to start with. Here we're going to. Let's do that. Let's let's. It's getting. It's getting bedtime for me soon. So let's do this. Let's do this combination. Um. It is loud, but you're okay. Okay, that's fine. Let's. Let's bring it down a little bit. I hope you like this better. Um. So. This is, this is going to be interesting because here we're going to start with, with a shape to create the water. But since the water is ending here, here the room will have the floor color of the water and we will create shapes for those. So we're going to do this now and we're going to do this with the brush tool and we already have the water there so all I need to do is... T I don't need snap to grit here. But it needs an outline and an inner shadow because we want to have a little cliff feeling here. So I'm going to do something like... I can't remember. Do shapes auto-close? No, they don't. Okay. Okay, so here's that part, and I it, it, it that doesn't look natural. So let's rework that a little bit. Let's subtract 
here. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, right. See, I'm getting tired already. Yeah, I... We've, we've just introduced this in, in, in the Deus build again, where you can switch between the two modes. And um, it's, I mean, whatever we do on Deus or whatever we do on Dungeon Fork always kind of impacts the other tool as well. We're seeing what you're doing, we're seeing what you're liking, and if we learn that you like something specifically and it's missing in the other tool, we can probably bring it over at the end they all get unified in the Deus application anyways, and that means that we are trying to learn as much and experiment as much as we can do here in the Batmap editor and see what is what is useful and what, what is something you like, and then hopefully use that or improve with, on your feedback in, in, in Deus. Okay, let's turn the jitter on. Let's see how that works. Okay, I not so happy with that. Let's make it smaller. Let's increase. The, oh, the density. Uh -huh. Yep, that looks nice. So here we have the water. Now for this room, all we need to do is we need to say floor. You are this as well. By the way, let me quickly. No, let me get rid of the. Um, this one later. So this is actually how the map looks. We've always been working on the blueprint here. And now let's trace. And I said I want to do shape with the stone texture. And I feel like this will be easier to do. Okay. Of course, this needs to be outer shadow. Ah, and let's just duplicate it, make it a little bit of rotate, and then edit. I'm not so sure about that. Okay, I'm happy with that. So, I think um, I will call it a day because it's getting half past ten here. Finn still needs his medicine. The poor fellow had another epilepsy fit today, so I need to make sure that he gets his medicine in time. I am tired. I will go to bed soon. Um, thank you for watching, everyone. Um, it was, as always, it was a lot of fun. I'm really proud of the orc map that we did. Um, it is, it's quite a demanding job to make this map here. Um, so apologies if it got a little bit more boring at the end. Um, but I just, I have to do many rooms here. Um, don't forget to tune in next Tuesday, because next Tuesday um, we will be talking about the patch notes. Um, so there's going to be a new patch to Dungeon Fog. Um, I know from the developers that there is already a patch cooking for Deus. Um, it's more like a stability and improvement patch. Not sure if it's going to be released next week already. Um, but um, it's going to be the first one where we can test the self-updater, so I'm very excited for that one. But especially keep your eyes out for our announcements next week, because there are still some things that I haven't talked about that we will release next week, and I can't wait to tell them you, because I'm bad with secrets. I hate them. Um, 
So everyone, have a good one, a good day, a good evening, a good morning. Um, and as always, thank you very much for watching and happy map making. Bye.